Okay, uh, this is Vladimir from Core Boot, and he's going to explain how to install it on uh, what is this? A Lenovo what? Lenovo X220. X220. Here we have X220 template. Yeah. But it's essentially the same on a, uh, also on a normal X220. Yeah. So uh, it's, it will be just pretty brief. You, and there is more details on the wiki. But basically, first remove the keyboard. Ah, you, you need if you have a new laptop, please don't do, do this directly. You need all, there are also some screws here. Uh -huh. You have to remove first. Right. This one is for demonstration purpose, so this one actually has them already removed. Right. Then you disconnect uh, the keyboard. You disconnect uh, this pad. Yeah. I will not disconnect the keyboard. Right. And then we have a chip here. A chip, yeah. Okay. You connect to it with with a clip like this. Yeah. Then you connect the clip to external power supply to get 3.3 3 volts. The laptop. Coming 3.3. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it, the laptop at this point must also do, do not have any other supply. So remove the battery, remove uh, the power supply, and then you connect a bus pirate. Yeah. Like or any other flash, or you can use Raspberry Pi, Beagle Bone Black, and so on. Yeah. And uh, then you first read it. Yeah. You read it two second time. Yeah. You compare that you read is correct. Yeah. You store the backup in a safe place. And then you flash the core boot. Okay, right. So this brief explanation. Is there, is there are more details on the wiki? Oh. Okay. So, alternative to BIOS and alternative to WEFI, right? Yeah. Good. And it's flexible, so we can do anything you want with it. Yeah. It's a, actually the architecture is that there are two parts. One part which is uh, which is very thin hardware initialization. Yeah. And uh, this this is a difficult thing to do, and uh, which you almost always want more or less the same. But then there is a payload, and yeah. payload shows you UI, reads the kernel from the disk, and so on. Yeah. And you can use any payload that you want. Yeah. There, you can use CBIOS, which creates basically a standard BIOS, yes, with interrupts and so on. So you can use any new operating system which supports standard boot. You can use Tayana Core to get UEFI interface. I personally put Grub directly into Flash, right. so that I bypass all this old stuff and just to just load the kernel. The Grub loads the kernel directly from disk. Uh, there are also several other the ones, like for example, Chromebooks, they use Depth Charge, which is a Google specific uh, specific loader, which uh, basically just does verification and uh, is, then loads a kernel in specific format. Grub can also do verification, you can verify GNUPG signatures. Could you show us uh, the, uh, the the, the, the interface of core boot? Uh, no, 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 not opening. No, 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 let, no. let me close it first. Ah, yes, sure. Yes. Uh, core boot itself actually has no interface. Well, I mean, you know, the, how you would. Yes. Uh, so, uh, well, you show us boot in it then. Yeah, so what you, you will actually see is not core boot, but one of the possible payloads, namely CBIOS, because here I put CBIOS, which. Uh, which shows, which implements normal BIOS interface. Okay, so the interface is a normal BIOS interface. Yeah, from from a uh, from the point of a programming, it's just normal BIOS. All right. Here you can press F12 if you want to choose another disk. All right. And then just normal, you, you know, normal, normal you boot. To Debian boot, show Windows or whatever. Okay. Excellent. Thank you very much, Vladimir. You're welcome. Thank you. I'm going to put it on YouTube.